my name is Becky Toll, owner founder of Crowbury Consulting Limited, enabling sustainable futures. And I'm here today to talk about the benefits of integrating both ISO 14001 environmental with ISO 50001 energy management standards. So both of these standards um, we are specialists in and we can help you if you're currently looking to move across to ISO 50001. Um, maybe you have to comply with the Energy Savings Opportunity Scheme, ESOS, and you're thinking it's about time to go for this standard. And you may already have ISO 14001 in place, which is the environmental management standard. So how easy is it to put these two together? Well, fortunately, because of the harmonised management structure that ISO brought in a few years ago, it's incredibly easy now to pull together 14,001 environmental with 50,001 energy. So if you're in a situation where you're thinking about putting the 50,001 energy management standard into your organisation, you don't necessarily have to do it as a standalone system. So the top level clauses are the same, such as context of the organisation, interested parties, and ending on monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation, internal audit, and management review, continual improvement. There are some differences in the middle for 50,001 around an energy review, setting energy performance indicators, and obviously your objectives and targets will be highly specific all around energy specifically. However, within 14,001, you have to cover off energy as well. So if you need help, either a gap analysis, some training, or you need some internal audit and support, or you need to completely build your integrated management system, give us a call today and follow us on the socials. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.